So we're, I just want to real fast just put it all together, right? Because I, I, I talk a lot. And uh, so let's hit the main, the main points here real fast. But real quick, this event is like unapologetically about becoming financially free, right? What does that mean to you? Just shout it out. What does that mean to you? Golfing a lot. You and Myron will get along. Traveling. Traveling. Free. What do you mean by freedom? Freedom to do what you want. Let me toss this your way real quick. You mind? Okay. What do you mean by freedom? Freedom to be able to do what you want. You don't, you don't already have that. Well, yeah, I suppose you do, but... So what would change that? What do you mean? Money. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that Freedom was almost like I set that up. I promise I didn't. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so you need the money. To buy my time back. You want to buy your time back, right? Brad talks about that right here. To only work with the people you want to work with. To work with only, yeah, yeah. And not ever have to have a boss you hate. <laughs> right here. Freedom to impact others' lives. To, to what? Impact lives. That's huge. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, right there, Moses. Yeah. Uh, to be able to stay in two countries because I live in Canada and my family is in Singapore, so I can stay six months in both. That's the ideal dream. That's huge. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Work. <laughs> to work where you want to work and when you want to work. Work where you want to work when you want to work. Absolutely. What's the meaning of financial freedom in you? To do what matters most. Yeah. Yeah, to you, right? Absolutely. Spend time and energy how you like to. Here you are. Options without reservations. So you can make options, you make choices, and you don't have to think about the consequences or setting things up so that you can do that. Mm. So it's a freedom in a way, but if I choose, I'm a homeschool mom, so if I choose to take my child and I wanna go across the country so that we can experience history, mm. that's an option I have immediately, right now, without our reservations. Love that, absolutely. <clears throat> I love history. I actually uh, wanted to be a 10th grade history teacher for a long time. <clears throat> um, to give my son the options we never had. We came from Venezuela and it's been really tough, so very proud to be here with you all. So we want to provide that to him. Huge. That's awesome, awesome. Ready? And one. <laughs> um, financial freedom gives me a sense of peace. And How so? Well, I'm raising three kids on my own, and I love to be to teach them that anything is possible. And I love when my one of my kids said recently, "I'd really like to take piano lessons. Can I do that?" And I said, "Yeah, sure." And she said, "But we don't have a piano." I said, "We'll just get one." <laughs> and it's like the best feeling ever to be able to do that for my kids. Yeah, that's big. We'll do one more right behind you, right here. For me, it's freedom to be able to launch some bigger projects. I have some, some projects that I've created that I think would be huge and make a big difference, but I don't want to give that away to an investor. And so the ability to be able to do that and get it through the rough time is what it is for me. That's huge, thank you very much. Guys, thank you so much for saying that. You know, financial freedom uh, to me has meant, it's not something, I, I, didn't, I didn't think this would be a benefit, but uh, you know that shirt, I got 99 problems, but my pitch ain't one? Right, so we created that shirt. And it's like, it's half joking, but it's serious at the same time. Being able to have cash just happening on the side, right? Even when I was on stage yesterday, what's been nice is like, I've been going to therapy for a lot of stuff, okay? I've been doing um, my leg, I have a lot of joint pain and damage still from the army. I've got a lot of, there's a lot of stuff that I didn't know was wrong with me until I started the entrepreneurial space. And then Robert Kiyosaki says, the moment you start going down any entrepreneurial path, it's like, boom, by the way, here's some character flaws you have. Boom, did you know you suck at those too, Steven? Boom, right? And it's that way. Yeah. And then when you start making the money, certainly you can sit back and I watch Russell and all these guys and they spend so much money on their personal development because they can. They have their time and the money. And so, I mean, I'll spend over 150 grand this year just on personal coaching. I've, there's no way I'd be able to do that beforehand because the time has allowed me fi finally go fix my calf, finally go start working on stuff in my brain. Finally, and that's, that's been huge. I did not expect that to be such a huge benefit. Guys, I want to make one thing with you though. Okay, if you had all the money in the world, where would you be? Let me, I'm just changing the question here. Where would you be if you had all the money in the world? 
You guys like, not here. I didn't need to be here. <laughs> you at home? Love it. Yeah, you'd be home, right? <laughs> right? There's a lot. There's just options that come with it. Um, and I, I just want to make one thing clear here with this. Um, I'm the capitalist pig. But financial freedom certainly means being able to help people who need help. Right? That is 100% part of it. I've had a lot of very angry people reach back out and reply to my emails and uh, tell me what they think of me and of this whole capitalist pig thing. And I get it from the face value. If they have a certain frame of mind and come from somewhere else, they're like, what? But like, let me be very clear about this. I'm very for helping people who can't help themselves. I'm very against living off the government because I'm too lazy to go get a job. Okay. <laughs> But it means being able to serve and bless my family. That's huge, okay? Each of us has a different idea of what financial independence means for us, and that's okay. That's okay. I want you to leave here knowing one thing. It's the whole purpose of this first presentation, okay? The marketer's dream of financial independence is alive, and it is doing well, and you can have it, whatever it might be for you, if you take the time to learn to get it. Okay. That's a big, fun thing. Yeah. It's very alive. And there's a lot of negativity. You're going to leave. You're going to go away. You're going to get jacked and be like, oh my gosh, that was so cool. His eyes were as big as I thought. And you get on the airplane and you start flying back home and you start telling people about what you learned. What's going to happen? Well, he's probably, they're probably not that big. <laughs> what you learned isn't that awesome. Tell me your dream. Let me smack it. That is natural and it will happen. And all you do is ahead of time, sit back and say, this is how I'll handle that. Okay, I wanna share a video real quick here. Well, I, we did not provoke this or ask for this. Where's Jeremy? Yeah, okay, Jeremy sent this to us. I wanna play a little video here. We did cut it down a little bit, okay, but uh, he sent this uh, sun, Sunday? Sunday, I think he said it's Sunday over. Uh, very nice of him, he came to last offer mine. I'm gonna play this real fast. So this morning, offer mine 2019 begins and it's just so crazy to think back and offer my 2018 and prior, like where, where, where I've come from there until now. Uh, it's just been such an amazing journey and I kind of want to share it with you. I want to thank you. I guess instead of just talking here in my car, let me show you. All right, so um, a year ago, we were operating out of my garage. Actually, I went from my garage, moved my son into his brother's bedroom <laughs> and moved my office in there because it got a little cold in the winter, and so now my kids sleep together <laughs> because dad couldn't afford an office. But now, finally, I've been able to afford a, an actual office. Wow. Steve, I just want to say thank you, man. Like, a year ago, like, in September of 2018, um, we were basically at zero. Um, I was still selling life insurance as an insurance agent. Um, I was generating my own leads online to sell, but like, like I knew I could serve my market, but I wasn't sure how. Like I couldn't put it together. I kept on, I would take side gigs here and there and take money over Venmo to do services because I needed the money. Um, but it wasn't until the One Funnel Away Challenge in October, followed by OfferMind, that things really clicked and put me on a path that would change my life forever. Instead of me just talking, let me show you kind of like where we came from and where we are now. So I kind of have our, our strap account here on, on, the, on the board here. So uh, one funnel away challenge that I took was in October of 18. I was looking back at my receipts to see when it was. It was October of, of 18. And you can see, this is a, a one year chart from September through sep September 19. So October, zero sales. Um, second week of October, we, we launched, so I, from one funnel way challenge, I decided to put my to put my order form online. I actually take Stripe charges, so I did. So 360 for the week, um, 630 for the week, 540 for the week, and then you know then zero, kind of flatlined. Offer mine was um, November, the second week of November of 2019, or 2018. And so that week, um, I kind of took everything you. We went, I went to the event. I turned off my phone. Didn't focus on anything but taking in what you were teaching. This whole rest of 2018 is what I did. Then at the beginning of, of 19, we launched 25,900 in the second week of January, 35,500 for that week. 
and we just keep on growing. <laughs> um, several weeks ago, we did $143,000. Whoa, in, in a week! In one week. Like, I, I, I remember this that week, and I was just thinking, oh, we're doing great. But, you know, just to look, think back on that, like, from zero to where we are now, which we hit 2.14 million, oh! we're at 2.14 million in revenue for, in less than a year. Guys, like, listen to Steve. He was <laughs> Russell Brunson's right-hand funnel builder. He, lists, he, 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 he went from nothing and learned next to the man, and now he's teaching us what he learned. So if you're not an offer mind, you should be. That'll be an ad to me. Um, you might have skills that you've learned how to, you might learn how to do Facebook ads, YouTube ads, and run ads, and maybe do SEO, and things like that, but if you haven't learned how to craft a message and craft an offer for your ideal customer, it's gonna be a difficult road. So Steve, I'm really so grateful for everything that you do. Thank you for sharing OfferMind. Thank you for continuing to publish day in and day out. Like, I wouldn't be able to send both my kids to private school um, without learning what you've taught. Um, I wouldn't have this office. I wouldn't have, have the income to pay great employees uh, a great income uh, and, per and have a good work, work environment if it wasn't for you. So thank you so much, Steve, for all you do. Um, please continue to do it. Um, I'm a follow of yours for life. Um, thank you so much, Steve. Take care. Hey, Jeremy, thank you very much. Appreciate that. <laughs> that was a fun present yesterday. <laughs> it's like, whoa, I, we gotta share this. <laughs> My slide deck is 476 slides. So we had to go in and put it back in and toss it back over. Thank you very much, though. Honestly, it's been, it's been awesome.